the course itself is, uh, as the title suggests, is a combination of engineering mathematics, which in this case is largely an introduction to linear algebra, and engineering computation, um, which really deals with the computational or, or numerical techniques that are used to solve important uh, problems in, in engineering. We represent systems of equations, whether they're what we call algebraic equations or whether they're differential equations, we use matrices as a way to summarize those equations. We can solve problems in matrix form very efficiently. The students that come into this course in the fall term, some of the students have seen none of the material, some of the students have seen all of the material, and then of course students in all in between. I understand that and, and teach it from the perspective that there will be students in the class that haven't seen that material. Generally, for the most part, the tutorials, there's no sort of formal assessment. It's just really working on problems, focusing on learning. Students do both pencil and paper type problems, but also get an introduction to MATLAB, which is an important scientific computing uh, environment or language. Um, now, I sit in the Department of Chemical Engineering, but we look at all kinds of different engineering systems, We're looking at models, uh, control thereof, optimization of these uh, biological systems literally at the cellular level, which is very exciting work for me. These are models that consist of hundreds, thousands of equations that need to be solved. And uh, one of the things we're interested in doing is getting cells like E. coli to actually produce um, useful chemical products that currently we produce from uh, petroleum, which is a non-renewable resource, whereas if we could get E. coli to make these things, then obviously that would be like a renewable resource. It was actually called engineering physics. It was so much dominated by physics, it was called engineering physics. When the first uh, chemical-related option came on stream, they felt they couldn't call it engineering physics anymore, and it was renamed in the mid-60s to engineering science. Over the many years that the program has been around now is a move towards, like, you know, and instead of it just being physics and math, to seeing, you know, more chemistry and more biology. It's, it's still lots of physics, but there's more chemistry and, and uh, biology than there ever used to be. We even started the biomedical option, I think, before we had biology in the first two years, so, which is, almost sounds crazy, right? And there's areas that you perhaps haven't even heard of, you know, our engineering, mathematics, and statistics, and finance option, which is another growing aspect where engineers are moving into the financial field.